I have made over 100 gaming videos in my YouTube career to date. So today I'm gonna to consolidate and show you the most important thing that I've learned. Intros. Aside from a good title and a good thumbnail, the introduction is the most important part of the video making process. Good intros can set you up for a lot of success on this platform, while bad intros, well, it's like staring at a brick wall. It's my favorite part. It's up to you as the editor, not only to inform the viewer what they're in for, but also to entice them to finish the video. Now this video, whilst mainly being for gaming channels, can also be used across any kind of channel on YouTube. So I implore you, keep watching. Please watch my video. Please. The best way for me to teach you this is probably to look at an older video of mine. And honestly, you can take your pick. Uh, they're all gonna have this problem, which is shitty intros. So uh, let's just go with that one. That one right there. Hello. Hello. Did you see that? Yeah. That small logo with the blurry background, that was my idea of an intro and branding. Now I know what you're thinking. Finn, my favorite YouTuber doesn't have an intro and he's got millions of views every single video. Well, that's because A, they suck. And B, they have an existing audience which they'll just watch anything the creator posts. And this is the thing, we have to earn those views because we're not in that privileged position. And also, you don't suck. Aww. Step one, be inclusive. Now this is the most important part of the whole process. It just overshadows everything that we're gonna learn today. This is a really easy thing to do and not a lot of you do it. Essentially, you wanna pretend that you're talking to your desired target audience member. Now for me, that's you, the camera. I'm pretending that I'm talking to you, a single person in my mind who I think is my target audience member. As a creator, I wanna play my cards in a way which I know that you would appreciate, but also keep it within brand so that I'm not selling myself too much because authenticity is important. So, you know, classic first date advice, uh, just chill the hell out, be yourself. Um, stop talking about Roblox so much. She's not gonna be into that, stop. So on the flip side to this, what you don't wanna do is start a video by just talking to your friends. There is nothing worse than when a video starts and the creator's friend is talking about another friend at school who did a fart in class that day and it's the most hilarious thing between these two guys. But because you don't know them as an audience member, wh why the hell is that funny? That is what I would like to call being exclusive or excluding your audience member. And that is the last thing you wanna do on the intro of the video. Number two is introduce these three topics in your video. What are you going to do today? I'm gonna build a portal to the nether. And how are you gonna do this? By going on a dangerous journey for resources. And why are you gonna do it? To win the love and affection of Pokemon, my beloved. Number three is use graphics, uh, PNGs, JPEGs, meme clips, throw them about the screen, get creative with it. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, this was all about animating things like this, animating your PNGs, your custom characters. This just makes a way more visually interesting introduction. Your audience probably won't get bored if you're doing a lot of this. And if you mix it with the last step of doing the what, how, and why, then you're golden. Something I see a lot of is people just doing a voiceover with gaming in the background. Just a gaming clip, maybe it's blurry and it's just a voice over. Uh, that shit is just mind-numbingly boring. And I'm not saying that won't work, it's just that if you want more of a chance of getting views, then maybe try and actually stimulate your audience member. And please, please, don't ask for subs and likes, please. Please, please, <laughs> please, for the love of God, don't ask. Like and subscribe if you agree. Number four, use lots of sound effects. Now sound effects can transform an introduction. You might not want to do this kind of heavy sound effects throughout the whole video, but for the introduction, make the effort. My top tip for doing this is to imagine that everything is going through really thick air, like air that makes noise when you move through it. Listen. I've seen a lot of creators that don't use sound effects in their introductions and it really just takes away that extra sparkle. And honestly, mix this with a voiceover that's just kind of low mood. This shit is gonna sap the energy from the audience like Indiana Jones, the temple of the secret something. You know, the thing where the face. Number five, be confident. Now I know this is easier said than done, but remember, when you're looking at the grand scale of things, our timeline on this earth is minuscule. And on the timeline of the universe, we are but an atom. And then on the timeline of when humans have been around in the universe, we are but a speck. So who gives a shit if you're enjoying your Minecraft gameplay? Number six is to take inspiration. Now we know about the what, how, and why. 
and these different points that we brought up today. But now we're gonna look at how other channels do it and we're gonna bring it into our own. We're gonna take inspiration from them, little things like how they perhaps pace their videos, the energy they bring to it. If you really like that and you really gel with it and you want your channel to be similar, just take small things from it. Don't copy the whole introduction process, but just take ideas. Most big YouTubers who do regular videos all have formulas and this is really the only way that you can do YouTube for such a long time like this. So I'm gonna link a few channels in the description which have really good intros which I think you could learn something from. So go and check them out after this video is finished. Okay, number seven. When you're getting happy with how your introduction is shaping up, then you're gonna to wanna to start thinking about the moments immediately after. Now these moments are important. So many times I have seen channels go from a really great introduction into this kind of gameplay. I So we wanna jump back a few steps and go back to step number one, which is be inclusive. Still be inclusive, even after the introduction is done. Don't think of the introduction as a thing just to bait it and then hook your audience and then just no effort afterwards. You wanna kinda of ease out on the effort. You don't wanna just suddenly cut off because that's just gonna be grating and the audience member will still jump ship. Our final step, number eight, is music. Good music is what's gonna separate you from that guy. Anyone can do a great intro but you get to decide the music and you can make it pretty individual and unique. I like to use songs with just a steady beat like this because it just keeps the pace going. So yeah, maybe don't use this song. The amount of times I've heard this song. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? You think you can take my money from me? So you're making an intro and you want music that makes you stand out, right? Of course you do. The difference between shitty music and quality music in videos is night and day. It's literally like this and this. Now, I'm gonna tell you a secret, ladies and gentlemen. There is a place online that gives you music, and that place is not only YouTube certified, but really easy to use. And that place is, of course, Licked. Licked, baby. Licked. Lick my balls. These dudes don't only have the best damn music for creators, but they also just revamped their website, making it way prettier, and really, 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 really simple to use. I mean, this thing is prettier than my website. Damn, you fine as hell. Hey, yo, uh, think I can get are you now? Are you serious, my brother? Ladies and fins, take your pick. Do you want chart-topping hits, or do you want something that's more specifically selected for things like gaming videos, background music, that kind of thing? Whichever you choose, you better use my link in the description. You get 50% off your first track. I swear to God, I won't go so easy on you like I did with this guy. I get, I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll get you. Oh, oh. Ah, f ah. Did you get? How long have you been here? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, a at least a little bit. I, I think intros are really important. If you like the video, make sure to drop a like. <laughs> Got him. I guess I guess I'm gonna get out of here. You guys can stay. I, I don't care. I'm go I'm gonna get out of here. I'm I'm going. See you later. Ah. Oh. My head. I'm getting the hell out of here. This place sucks. Ugh. See you later. All right, I changed my mind. I'm back. Oh.